very complicated things. Hi, back again. I've changed the lighting a bit. I've added one more lamp. So hopefully the drawing will look a bit more warm colored than it was in the previous videos. Also, I have um, turned my phone around so that I hope the view will now be horizontal instead of vertical. I didn't know that. Learning as we go. I'm going to, um, oh yeah, I added some kind of teal blue gray color to the sky. I don't know if you can really see it. It's not a polychromes, by the way, because they don't have that color, or at least I don't have the color. I only have about 70, 75 maybe of the in total 120 that are available from Polychromos. So I chose one of the Marco Renoirs that I have. That's this one. One of the Chinese pencils that seem to be from uh, the Brunzel factory, which is in China. Um, anyway, I'm now going to add a bit of fluorescent yellow, green, um, all around the frog and the toadstools, because I think it enhances the eerie light that I'm trying to achieve here. I'm going to do that now. And this is not with a pencil, as you see, but with a very cheap um, gel pen. And I'm just going to trace around the outlines of the picture. And then with my finger, I'll just, I don't know, wipe it a bit away. And you see this very light greenish outline. It's not very um, obvious, but I don't want it to be. It's just a hint of color, which we need. would be smart to not smudge it with your hand so I have to start at this side don't even know if it works at the moment yeah it works it's hard to see and these are very very cheap I think I bought 10 of these gel pens for about a euro in one of these very cheap shops, like a one dollar shop or whatever you call them here in the Netherlands. So I saw on a lot of reviews that gel pens, um, you can buy them just fairly cheap and that it doesn't really matter. There's one um, brand that is really good, the Jelly Roll. I have a couple of those, but they are actually expensive, and I don't use gel pens a lot, only the white, and in some cases, this fluorescent color. Maybe I should not have done it there, but well. The pen is actually quite yellow, but somehow with the pencil that is already on the paper, it turns out to be green, which is good because I want green.
don't know if you can really see it, but there, the eerie light feeling that I really want is a bit more present now than it was before. So I'll just keep on going. Might be not so interesting to watch. Then again, I always I don't know, like these videos where people tell you how they do something. Because you always seem to learn something of them. And like I said, Peter Hewitt was a huge um, a teacher, so to say, for me. Also learned a lot from... Penny the Snow from Passion for Pencils. But most of all, you learn this by just trial and error and just do it and enjoy it. And for me, it's a complete addiction. I started in the summer of 2016 in France with very cheap pencils and one of these, yeah, I don't know, mandala kind of coloring books and I just was I, I was hooked because of the the mixing of the colors and the trying to find the most beautiful combinations and all that that was what I really liked and it totally grabbed me um, although at the end of the holiday I had a, my 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 forefinger what's it called well anyway one of my fingers it was just numb somehow because of the fact that these pencils were very cheap. They're from Brownsill, just a school student pencil, I think. In Holland, we call it the Kaver Blick. Um, but they take so much, it takes so much pressure to get any color onto the paper that you just get numbed fingers. And then I had watched a lot of um, YouTube videos already, and they told me about the difference with better like artist quality pencils they obviously are a lot more expensive but i loved it so much to color that i thought okay i'll just give this a try and i bought myself the, um i think 60 pencils box from faber castell polychromos um and they are amazing it's just you can do so much more without getting numbed fingers it's just fantastic. I'm very happy with those. I bought some, about uh, 10 or so, I think, extra pencils. And one of the colors that I really like is this one. I'm totally off topic because I'm not coloring anymore. But, you know. Um, let me see. Can you see this? No, you can't. Well, it's called Earth Green. And it's this very light grayish color of green show you i'm just in love with that color yeah now it's focusing i think and i've bought a couple others like the nougat color i use for the toadstools and um, i'm very big fan of blues greens and huh, in betweens mm, okay well anyway um browns uh, oranges i'm not a big fan of like uh, pinks and purples, I hardly ever use them. I've tried it, but somehow I don't seem to bond with those colors. Um, well, anyway, totally off topic, as I said, I have added now this little bit of green, and I'm now going to think about what to add next. I just will make a little focused, what's it called, um, close-up thingy? Parts of my drawing. And last but not least, one of the frog. Okay, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.